dear learners welcome to this session myself dr archana shukla from faculty of library and information science school of social sciences ignu today we are going to discuss about physical processing in libraries this physical processing work is done in the technical section of the library in technical section two types of works are done one is technical processing which involves works like cataloging classification assigning subject headings etc and the second one is physical processing this is the work which makes a book ready to be placed on the shelves so what happens after the acquisition the book is given a accession number by the acquisition section and an accession slip is prepared for the book newly procured book along with that accession slip is further sent to the technical section for both physical processing as well as technical processing processing work refers to all the activities which are undertaken before the books are put on the shelves for circulation and for use before items can be shelved and then circulated from the library they need to be physically prepared library materials go through processing so that they can be located used and returned to the library from which they originated each item in the library must go through this physical processing process now what is the need of this physical processing work in the library why do we do this physical processing work it makes library material ready for use for ensuring identification of library material and ascertaining the ownership of library material means this document this book belongs to this particular library and preserving or prolonging shelf life of books and material for that different covers tapes are put on the newly acquired book so as to preserve them and prolong their shelf life physical processing work involves dust cover strengthening stamping with library name a stamp is marked on the different pages of the book which contains the name of the library aging of back pasting various labels tags book pockets barcode etc putting call number at various places in the book and in the catalog card book card dues date slip etc writing call number author and title on the book card preparing list of edition at fixed interval for display and for circulation among the faculty members or the users by this way library tells what new things are added in the library what are the new arrivals in the library and releasing books processed during the week or month for adding to the main collection of the library after this physical processing and technical processing work is over these newly acquired books will be added to the main collection now coming to the steps in physical processing work what we will do today first i will tell you the theoretical aspect of this processing work then i will show you a book how that book is being processed the steps involved in processing varies according to the library the processing steps will certainly vary by type of library and within a library also different type of materials may be processed in different ways 
for example non book material they are processed differently uh, cereals they are processed differently so all these things should be kept in mind while doing the processing work of different kind of library material these are the four steps by which physical processing work is done in a library the first step is inspection second step is identification third is preparing the book for circulation and then comes the completion work this is finalizing the book for circulation coming to the first step that is inspection the material should be examined for any physical defects such as damaged cover or folded pages if a book or other item purchased by the library is defective it can usually be returned however it will not usually be accepted by return by the vendor if it has gone through processing a new book should be carefully and properly opened in order to prevent spine damage aging is the very essential step as far as handling the new books books when received from publishers may not open up well due to the glue getting hardened at the spine this may need a little aging this can be done by opening the volume somewhere in the middle or placing it on a flat table and then gently pressing it with a thumb from top to bottom this can be repeated after several sections according to the thickness of the volume press 5 to 10 pages against the back cover of the book press 5 to 10 pages against the front cover of the book repeat until all pages have been pressed open cutting open uncut pages this is the second important work while doing physical processing occasionally pages have not been completely cut during the publication and printing process and then they need to be cut otherwise they will create problem when users are using these books this cutting open work should be done carefully with a cut in bone or paper knife which is not too sharp edged the second step in the physical processing work is identification most of the libraries what they do they label their material with some form of permanent identification that gives the name of the library and its address identification is done to discourage theft and to ensure that lost library materials are returned to the library from which they originated it is relatively inexpensive means of publicizing the library also because the book contains the name of the library and by seeing the details user will become aware about the library even the potential users also so in identification stamping of books as proof of ownership is also done but care should be taken to put the stamps so that it will not fall on the printed material means the printed portion of the book these stamps are to be put on the following pages title page inside front cover or inside back cover at the top bottom of the confidential page chosen by the library every library they are having a policy of deciding a confidential page and they put library stamp on that confidential page also and this page is put this stamp is being put at the last page of the book also pasting ownership slip 
this ownership slip is placed on the inner side of the front cover at left hand topmost corner. Size of this slip is generally 7.5 by 6.5 centimeters and it is made of generally of glazed paper a very good quality of a paper. But some libraries are not using this ownership slip they are just putting the library's stamp in place of this ownership slip. This is the specimen of the ownership slip. Here name of the library is written, location of the library is given, class number, book number and accession number that is the unique number for identification of the book is given. Then comes labeling the book. In books certain labels are pasted. These labels are also called as spine labels. They contain call numbers and they identify the location of library material because on these levels call number which means class number and book number are written. These levels they are generally made of three types cloth levels, foil back levels and paper levels. Decision about the type of level to use should be based on the budget of the library. Generally these cloth levels they are the most expensive burn. Uh, foil back levels they are mostly used by the libraries because in them adhesives are already there. So they are easy to paste on the books and paper levels libraries those who are not having that much budget they generally used paper levels and they put tape on that paper level to protect that spine level from being damaged. This is the specimen of both square level as well as the circle level. Square piece on the top class number is written then the book number is written. Similarly in the circle piece first class number is written and then book number is written. Then the third step in this physical processing work is preparing the book for the circulation. And for this preparation book cards, book pocket and due date slips they are being pasted in the book. Book card, these cards are a key component of manual circulation system where they are used to identify who has borrowed material and the, when the material should be returned to the library. Book pocket, they are the pockets, those hold the circulation card in them and due date slip. They can be used by the users to determine when the library material should be returned to the library. They are the slips which is pasted on the library books to remind the users about the due date of the books. This is the specimen of the book card. This book card it contains the name of the library, then accession number, class number, author of the book and then title of the book. It also contains information of, about when this book is due and it also contains a column of signature of the borrower and the last column in it is mentioned when this book is returned by the user. This is the book pocket. In this po book pocket the book card is being capped. This book pocket it also contains the name of the library as well as the accession number of that book. This is a book pocket which holds the book card. This is the due date slip. This due date slip it also contains the name of the library, name of the author of the book, title of the book, accession number and call number and it get pasted on the book and reminds the user please issue this book before the due date mentioned or stamped on this due date slip. Now these are the materials which are required for 
physical processing work. Of course, we need book card, book pocket, due date slip and levels also. Apart from that, we need cellophane papers to protect the book, library levels or spine level as I just told you, library property stamp means library stamps. These stamps are generally made up of rubber and some libraries, they use stamp kind of a plate, book plate to put this stamp on the book. Ink pad, libraries what they do, they use different kind or different color of stamps for different kind of documents. For example, this depends upon the policy of the library, they use blue color for the printed material, they will use red color for the serials and they will use black color or any other color, it depends upon the policy of the library for the rare book material. Uh, apart from these, adhesives are also required. As I told you, these book pockets, uh, due date slip, ownership slip, they got pasted in the books. So, for pasting these things, we require adhesives also. All the mentioned pasting jobs should be done very carefully and for that good quality glue which is thin and fast drying must be used. Care must be taken to wipe out completely the excess glue so as to avoid the sticking of the pages. This stamp when I am telling about these library stamp, sometimes the library they put a stamp on the maps also and other accompanying material which are there with the book. Now coming to the size of these book pocket generally they are of uh, 3 by 2.5 size or 3 5 by 3 size. Book card they are of 2 by 2.5 size or 2.5 by 4.5 size these are the generally the standard size. Book tags which we call as book labels or spine labels, they are of generally 1.25 diameter. The due date slips, these due date slips are generally of 6 by 4 size. The last step in the physical processing work is the completion work. Here the physical processing work get completes, it involves writing of call number in pencil at the back of title page and also on the secret page. Writing call number on spine level, ownership slip, book card, book pocket and due date slip. Similarly, writing author name, title, class number, accession number at different places. Now, the process of uh, this physical processing is somewhat different in automated system. As we know that most of the libraries these days they are becoming automated and for that those automated libraries, what are the requirements for processing? They need of course ownership slips, spine level, due date slip, but they do not need book pocket and book card. In place of book pocket and book card, what they paste? They paste barcode level or RFID level as what system is used by the library. And in some library, they are having both things. Even the book pocket and book cards are there and they are having barcode levels or RFID levels also. In automated physical processing, data entry is also an important aspect. Data entry means to enter or update data into a computer system database that is library management system. At library, bibliographic description is entered in suitable database. By bibliographic description means the minimum description which is required to identify that document. This data is required for various things like acquisition, circulation, cataloging, for keeping users record, for reporting to the authorities, etc. 
and for this data is entry work standards are generally followed standard is preferred for bibliographic description for data interoperability data exchange data migration and sustainability of the data in these automated system as i told you barcode levels are used so these barcodes they are pattern of bars and spaces of varying width that represent digits letters or other punctuation symbols to identify an item or object in libraries with automated circulation systems barcode provide a unique accession number for an item libraries they either purchase barcode levels or create levels in house by using a laser printer we all are familiar with these type of barcode levels uh, when we go to the shopping mart we see that these type of levels are there on the products and by a barcode reader they read the information related with the product similarly the information related to the book is read by a barcode reader which is there in the form of this type of a barcode level what happens repeated scanning dirt and grease will damage the level so it should be protected with a clear plastic label protector generally libraries are, what they are doing they are putting a tape on this barcode level so to prolong its life this is the image of a barcode reader this barcode reader or scanner it is a device used to extract information optically from the barcode barcode scanners are of various types these may be handheld or fixed this is a image of a handheld means which is easy to be uh, hold in the hand and fixed type they are just like a cabinet to be placed on the table or the circulation desk now libraries are also using rfid tags uh, rfid means radio frequency identification uh, it is the technology that uses radio waves to automatically identify individual items these rfid tags they help in the circulation and uh, in the maintenance stock verification in fact in almost all of the areas of library these rfid tags help the users as well as the staff of the library so processing is a tedious and time taking time consuming and labor intensive procedure and sometimes it needs to be done again and again for example if a library is manual then first they do the manual type of physical processing work then when library becomes automated or computerized then they have to put the barcode levels or rfid tags again on all the documents available in the library so sometimes this uh, physical processing work it becomes very time consuming also now i will tell how you do the physical processing work in a book this is a book pocket which holds the book card now this is a book see this spine level or level which contain class number plus the book number it is pasted here on the book in this place what happens some libraries they paste this level on the spine but some libraries they paste this here what why because due to the thickness of the book if the book is not very thick it is difficult to stick the level on the spine so some libraries they put a spine level here but for from the user's point of view it is good to put the 
spine level here because it will be visible to the users when the books are there on the shelves. This cover which is there on the book, this is known as the book jacket. Libraries are having different policy for this book jacket also. Some libraries what they do, they take off this book jacket and they do different covering on the book to prolong their life. Now see in this book, this book pocket is pasted here. I showed you this book pocket na? with the help of the glue. This book pocket is pasted here and it contains the book card. Now this question will come to your mind. Why book card is not there in this book pocket? Because I get this book issued from the library. So they kept that book card in the library as a record that this book is being issued to that particular user. Now this is the due date slip. Due date slip is the slip on which see this due date is mentioned. The date on which I have to return this book to the library. Now coming to the stamp part. Here the stamp of the library is given. Similarly here a barcode is also pasted and as I told you this barcode is covered by the tape to protect it from being damaged. See this page also contains the library stamp as well as the book number and class number written in pencil. For pasting book pockets, different libraries have different policies. Some library they paste it on the front page but some library they paste it in the last page also here. So it depends upon the library policy. Similarly as I told you libraries they put stamp on the secret page also. So today we have discussed about the physical processing work in the library and by this work the books are sent to the shelf how they are prepared to be placed on the shelf. Physical processing is the procedure that libraries undertake to make newly acquired books shelf ready for circulation and use. And sometimes this, uh, these physical processing work as I told you they need to be repeated again and again. When? When the library will be getting automated or even by the maintenance section staff also when these spine levels, book card, due date slip they got filled or damaged then the library staff have to replace these things or these material from the book and place new slips, new cards, new book pockets in place of them. Thank you.